A bunch of dates have been put online, and then I think there's a couple dates where there's some confusion because uh, one website posted that we were playing Houston one day and a different day. So I don't know. I just show. I up think they got it worked out now. Yeah, I think it worked out now. The tour dates have all been announced. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be the best tour of the summer, and. And you're going out with a bunch of different bands, right? I know Fall Out Boy for part of it. Yeah, Weezer. We got Taking Back Sunday. We got Chester French. We got Asher Roth, Panic at the Disco. Weezer's played with you on uh, at Irvine at, on September 17th. Oh, all, all American, American rejects. rejects. Yeah, that's right. You can say it. Well, you, I don't want it. you guys. You are have doing, a microphone. You guys, the way you guys all riff, Mark, you've been riffing with these guys great, and I don't want to like come in <laughs> like it's goss and just as, I know, I know, I'm here, but I just want to sit back and watch you guys. It's okay. great. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, real Tom, I'm glad you brought that up because we haven't heard from Fake Tom yet today, and I wonder what his thoughts are on the Blink 182 reunion. Fake Tom. Fake Tom. Fake come on, have Tom. some balls. Do it. Do oh, it. Is he... You do it all the time when he's not here. <laughs> We're excited about the tour. It's going to be great to play with these guys again. There you go. Uh, is that you know, Tom or is that the woman from All in the Family? <laughs> it's kind of a little bit of Edith Bunker. You're right. Yeah. That's you a know mixture what? of both. Hey, I just got to say, I was driving uh, d down San Diego, and on the morning show there, the guy was doing the same thing, making fun of him, but singing like lines about some story. It's always the same. Some, like, it's always the same whiny thing. You know what? But I remember that uh, I was uh, the one selling uh, millions of records by yeah. sounding that way. That's what I remember <laughs> mostly. That's a good point. You win. You, you win, exactly. All right, let's squeeze in a couple calls in our remaining minutes with Blink-182. 1-800-520-1067. Uh, if you can hear us, you can call in. Let's start with Andrew. He is on line 7 on The Kevin and Bean Show. Hey, Andrew, you're on with Blink-182. Go ahead. Hey, uh, guys. I was wondering, after, you know, not playing together for like four years, how's it been writing new music? Has it come easy, or you find it kind of difficult? You are writing new music, right? Yes, yeah, we are. Okay. We sure are. Is that difficult or easy? No, it's pretty it's easy, actually. I don't know. That's great. Was it always easy? It's well, easy-ish. Every song's different. Some songs come real easy, and some songs we got to work on and kind of take an idea and tear it back down and build it up a different way, and, you know? We're artists. We're tortured. It's funny, the, the first song I think that we really got into sounds exactly where the last record like kind of broke off. Like it fits in exactly uh, where that was, which is, which is odd because we've all done so many different types of musical projects since. But, mm -hmm. um, but it, no, it was refreshing. And, I, and Mark and I have always, we kind of grew up listening to the same kind of music. Right. You know, I mean, Mark's listened to a lot more self-help stuff than I have. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but no, but uh, so. Don't it, laugh. It's, Don't yeah. you laugh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that was serious. Sorry. Uh, new uh, album. New album. Do you have any idea when? Uh, the, what, yes, absolutely. We have a new album entitled One Way Ticket to Boneville. And, uh, <laughs> now, when we get back from the tour, we'll probably head back into the studio and continue writing. And, you know, hopefully, I don't know, end of this year, early next year, but probably early next year. Playing new songs on the tour? A couple. Yeah. At least yeah. one. Yeah. It's weird. You know, it's funny. We, like, we were rehearsing for like weeks and weeks. And then I remember the other day when we just got into a whole there's so many songs that have been played on the radio it's kind of hard to make oh, I'm sorry you guys talking no go ahead okay because mm. I wasn't sure <laughs> I was like I don't want to interrupt you guys we're there. talking to Mike you were talking go ahead okay well it's not interesting when no one's listening well, don't let us distract you sorry go there ahead. are there are other people listening besides those two right uh, where are you guys at <laughs> where are Mike. you at all right go ahead I'm sorry uh nothing I just want to take this moment to say that uh <laughs> it, despite how early it is I still look handsome yes <laughs> you do <laughs> yeah, you certainly do uh, hey uh, Travis let me ask you this because I've always been fascinated with how bands work in the studio uh do you do songs go through a bunch of different incarnations where it may start out one way like a faster song and end up as a slower song or start out you know being kind of crazy and then end up being more hard rock tell me about that a little bit yeah i mean like our last record we had uh gosh what are those two songs called that were like basically the same song and then i played drum parts oh, yeah. for it oh, fast all of this and uh, easy target yeah that was basically the same song and then i would just go in there and uh and kind of play like two different versions of it like a really rock like aggressive version of it and then a really mm -hmm. mellow version and sometimes those become like you know two different songs or you know it, it all changes it's all it, it all depends on the song and, and how we're feeling that day you know i have a clip you, of one of your new songs if you don't mind i'd like to play it okay all right <laughs> Can't tell who's singing. Which one of you is that? <laughs> that's uh, that's Tom. Actually, I, I actually wrote the song, but Tom sang it. It's it's, it's about a flower. <laughs>
That does pick up where you left <laughs> off. All right, uh, e email question from Arnie. Hey, I met Tom yesterday when I delivered food to him. I want to know if he found his lost dog. What's that all about? Oh, my God. Wow. You know what? This is <laughs> That's how lazy Tom is. He has to have food delivered, just <laughs> trucked into you his house. You know what, house. Mark? You've never, ever been into bioidentical hormone <laughs> therapy like I have. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, uh, what happened with your dog? They got out. Yeah? They just got out, and so this dude shows up, and he's like, he's delivering food at the house, and, uh, and I'm really racing out on on the super gnarly punked out golf cart and I'm ra <laughs> and I'm and I'm cha I'm screaming for my dogs down the street and it's funny I was telling you this it was a great story we we even talked about how a oh, great story it was sure and uh, and it's just great to be able to talk to the crowd out here in Radio Land <laughs> but seriously Tom's dogs are like master they should be on special forces Dude. units because it, literally his his uh, German Shepherd can climb straight up he a, can. a flat wall. Nice. Now, this is the thing. They have those shock collars. You know how I know they get out? You smell like burnt dogs. <laughs> oh, no. That's terrible. These dogs sprinting to the street. There's your tour name. Smells like burnt dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Wow. So did you, did you find them? Did they come back? Yes, I did find them. Okay, good. And, uh, right. and also, why? what are you doing to your dogs that they're so desperate to escape? Yeah, why do they want to climb on the wall? wall. I, I'm a very, very sexual person by nature. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you can't help you. You're attracted to. Come on. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Don't we're judge out him. of we're out of time, but oh, yeah. without without getting all uh, mushy on you guys, <laughs> this is something that we have uh, hoped for for a long time, and you know, you, you we couldn't be happier to have you guys all in the same room and getting along and being happy and making great music, and we're very excited about new music, very excited about the tour, and we want to thank you for coming in today. It's a pleasure well, to catch you. up with thank each and every much. one of you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Kick off the summer with K-Rock this Thursday night at Six Flags Mansion Mountain. Join me, Nicole Alvarez, as we crash the park, ride the coasters with no lines while you stuff your face full of funnel cake. Be one of the first to check out the new Terminator Salvation. The ride, a wooden coaster like no other, transporting you into a post-apocalyptic future.